Indeed, the reason why we're all here is to unveil this memorial stone, which should be a permanent reminder of the legacy of his music. I was never what you might call a Bolan addict. In fact, I only met him once, but coincidentally, in many ways, my life mirrored his. We were born about the same time. We were both catapulted into music business by hearing Bill Haley and the Comets. And we both headed for the Two Eyes coffee bar and simultaneously became part of the glam rock scene. The difference was he was a big star and I was just a keyboard player with David Bowie. <laughs> he was a star in every sense of the word. Dedicated, obsessed, committed. He knew what he wanted and he tried very hard to be involved in every aspect of his career. Like most people, I was profoundly upset on hearing of the accident, echoes of which were heard 17 days ago from Paris. Years after this tragic event, on my way home, I began to notice this tree with ribbons and messages that were a constant reminder of the loss. As the years passed, I became more and more convinced that something more fitting should be the focus of attention for the thousands who came from all over the world to pay their respects. With that in mind, four years ago, I began research into the possibility of creating some sort of memorial. Two years later, I was elected to the board of the PRS and as such became aware of the close link between the PRS and Mark Bolan. And it was then that I was able to make this become the reality of today. <clears throat> I'd like to pay tribute to the many people, and there are many, who have helped to make this possible. As usual, there are too many to thank individually, but there are two people who have worked tirelessly throughout this last year who deserve a special mention. Jackie da Costa, you have worked wonders, and we are all in your debt. Thank you very much. And John Logan of the Performing Rights Society, who was largely responsible for the close link between Bolan Estate and the PRS Members Fund, in whom we owe an enormous debt of gratitude, as the PRS Fund has very kindly donated this memorial. Finally, I'd like to say thank you to all of you for taking the time to come here today and share in this moment. And I know that if Mark is watching us, then I'm sure he would agree that this is a very special moment. Before the unveiling, there are a few people who are going to add some special words to this ceremony. Jeffrey Bailden is an actor who appeared in Born to Boogie, the only movie that Mark made. And in that movie, he recited Mark's poem entitled The Union Hall Poem. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Jeffrey Bailden. The Union Hall Poem. Neath a strange star when the earth was young, a sound was given to the chosen ones. On a hill, clouded and grey, was heard at dawn this wondrous lay. brings the formal part of the proceedings to a close so it just remains for me to say once again thank you for all for taking the time to come here today and special thank you to the members of the PRS members fund for making this all possible there will be an opportunity for photos and maybe some some guests would prefer to remain here those of you who are invited to the reception should now make their way to Olympic Studios uh, and we'll join you there. I've got one thing to say, 
finally get it on banger gone thank you This way, please. Tim. You're right. You're okay. No, I can't see anything. Come forward. Come forward. <laughs> 